child, um, I developed um, debilitating arthritis. Um, so bad, in fact, that it was very difficult using my hands, very difficult using my feet at times. Um, I have this vivid memory of trying to climb up the stairs and uh, not being able to because my legs were, were in so much pain. Um, and what was discovered um, in my case is that there was a direct relationship between certain foods I was eating and the swelling I was getting in my joints. Um, so, so since that time I've been particularly passionate about helping people identify the foods that are triggering their, their joint concerns. So in many ways this experience shaped the entire trajectory of my, of my professional career and it's led me to naturopathic medicine for that. I am, I am very grateful. We all know that sugar is harmful for us, but why? So these questions are beyond the scope of this video, but for an exhaustive review of the harmful effects of consuming sugar, check out an article called Is Sugar Toxic? that was published in the New York Times Magazine, um, and it, it's a really good summary of all the harmful effects. Um, additionally, one of the greatest mistruths of the last century was propagated by the sugar industry, who worked overtime to vilify fats as the cause of cardiovascular disease. Well, in reality, you guessed it, sugar is one of the primary contributors. Um, I'd highly recommend reading uh, an article that was put out in Time Magazine called Eat Butter. And for more information about this, I'd, I'd check out some of the work of Dr. Robert Lustig. And he is a, a pediatric endocrinologist um, and, and a professor at UCSF. Um, and he does some amazing work with uh, the toxicity profile of sugar. The different forms of arthritis and osteoarthritis likely constitute a quarter of, of my practice. And this just so happens to correlate with the number of adults in the United States that have been given a doctor diagnosis of arthritis, about 21.5%. Arthritis is typically categorized as a condition of old age, but um, another trend that I'm seeing in my practice is that it's, it's affecting people at a younger and younger age. And, and that's what leads me to this study. This study is, is an analysis of, of information that's come out of a survey that looked at people between the ages of 20 and 30 and how the consumption of sugar correlated with, with arthritis. So the methodology. Uh, the methodology was, was fairly simple. Um, the study pulled information from a massive pool of data called the NHANES, or the Nutrition and Health Examination Surveys. What they did is they took cross-sectional data from this survey to assess the association between high excessive fructose intake and arthritis. On the questionnaire they asked, has a doctor or other healthcare practitioner diagnosed you with arthritis? And then they also asked, how often did you drink one orange juice, two orange or grapefruit juice, three another fruit beverage such as a fruit cocktail, and lemonade, and four, soft drinks. Young adults consuming a combination of high fructose beverages greater than five times per week were three times more likely to have a diagnosis of arthritis. And these findings were controlled for physical activity, other dietary factors, blood sugar, and smoking. All right, so let's look at what's happening with sugar when it enters the bowel. When we ingest sugar, we are getting fructose. Fructose sliding down the stomach, entering in to the bowel, and in the bowel it is pairing or binding to undigested protein and undigested fats. This complex of undigested fructose and undigested protein and fat creates something called advanced glycation end product, or AGEs. These advanced glycation end products then are sneaking through a leaky bowel lining and getting into the circulation. 
So they're getting into the blood then and traveling to our periphery and binding to receptors on synovial membranes of our joints. And when these AGEs bind to receptors on synovial membranes, they are increasing the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines or inflammatory mediators. It's this inflammation then that is contributing to stiffness and pain in our joints. Sugar, fructose, down into the bowel, combining with pre-existing undigested proteins and fats, creating AGEs leaking through the lining of the bowel, entering peripheral circulation, binding with our synovial membranes, and then creating this cascade of inflammation that, that leads to arthritis. All right, so that in a nutshell is what's happening with sugar when it gets into the digestive system and then ends up in our joints. Interestingly, the AGE complex that we just discussed has also been implicated in childhood asthma. Um, and that's why you see a high comorbidity rate um, with arthritis and asthma. Um, upwards of 20% sometimes is because both of them the trigger is this AGE complex, and the trigger to both of them, and the trigger to this AGE complex for both of them is, is fructose. So if you have any joint concern, um, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, generalized stiffness, sore neck, sore shoulders, sore back, sore knees, sore hips, sore ankles, if you have any of these concerns, please, before you make any other changes, before you start a new medication, before you start an NSAID, before you start Tylenol or aspirin, um, before you start a, a supplement, um, please examine closely how much sugar is in your diet and make this change first. So here's my challenge. Give your joints the opportunity to heal for the next 30 days. Make a decision to remove or dramatically decrease sugar from your diet for the next 30 days and I promise you you will notice changes in how your joints and muscles feel. Removing sugar will not only help your joints, they'll help your cardiovascular risk, they'll help your sleep, your mood, your energy, and, and it's very, very likely that you'll, you'll lose some weight as well. Um, thanks for listening, everyone. I hope you found this information valuable. Um, I hope you can start to see the relationship now between sugar and, and the inflammatory process, specifically as it relates to to joints. If you have any questions, please leave them at the bottom and I'll, uh, I'll be sure to respond. Thanks.